I've been using this Surface laptop for a few months now since they launched the new Copilot Plus PCs back in June, and I'm still using this as my daily driver for work. It's lightweight, powerful, the battery lasts forever, and the switch to Qualcomm's Exley architecture has been seamless for my workflow. That is, outside of the heavy creative apps, which I still primarily use on my desktop. But DaVinci Resolve, does work on this PC, and it does work fairly well. Now that more hardware from Intel and AMD is on the horizon for Copilot Plus PCs, let's talk about exactly what Copilot is. It's a tool with many faces that appears everywhere, but there's distinctions on what version of Copilot is what. First, there's Copilot itself. If you've updated your Windows 11 lately, you would have noticed that there's a new Copilot feature on your taskbar, as well as in the Edge browser. This is the free and base version of Copilot, which is a combination of a search app, AI assistant, and more. If you're familiar with Cortana, it's very similar to that, but with some more AI features. Now, if you have a question, it'll help answer the question while also citing sources for that question. Copilot can help draft emails, set reminders, and it could do a lot of the things that you may already be used to with the digital assistant. From here, there's a few distinctions with Copilot, such as the Copilot Plus PC and Copilot Pro. A Copilot Plus PC is a new badge for Windows 11 PCs that are AI ready, meeting a minimum computing requirement of 40 tops, or trillions of operations per second. The Surface laptop I'm currently using meets that requirement with its NPU, or Neural Processing Unit, and that is a dedicated tile on the chip for local AI tasks. This means that it can run AI on the device instead of in the cloud like you would with ChatGPT or other cloud AI services. With a Copilot Plus PC, that local AI usage is still limited at this time while they develop more functionality to leverage this hardware. Now, currently, you can use CoCreator and some image generation, and that can all run locally leveraging that NPU, as well as AI-powered background removal for Teams calls and noise suppression, both of which are actually huge features to improve your video call experience. Copilot Pro, on the other hand, is a subscription that you can sign up for with your Microsoft account, and it integrates into other Microsoft apps, such as Word, Excel, and more. Copilot for Microsoft 365 is different from the Copilot that you can use for free in Windows 11 or the free Copilot chat tool in Microsoft's Bing search engine. There are two key components that you need to begin using Copilot for Microsoft 365 a Microsoft 365 subscription, and a Copilot for Microsoft 365 or Copilot Pro subscription. These are two separate subscriptions that you'll have to pay for individually. Microsoft 365 is available as a monthly or annual subscription for both home and business, and it works out to between $6 and $15 a month, depending on the subscription plan. There's a 30-day free trial that you can use, but you'll need to pay if you want to keep using Microsoft 365 after the trial expires. For Copilot, there's two subscriptions that you can pick from, Copilot Pro and Copilot for Microsoft 365. The former is more affordable at $20 per month, and it gives you access to Copilot in Word, Outlook, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote, with some slight restrictions on how you can use them. Copilot for Microsoft 365 is aimed more at businesses. Priced at $30 per month, it offers additional functions in Teams and Outlook, and it utilizes more corporate data to set up how the AI functions. Now, do bear in mind that the price is per user as well, so with larger organizations, that monthly cost can quickly rise. Once you've signed up to a subscription for both Microsoft 365 Office applications and a version of Copilot that works for your needs, it's time to actually start using it. With your Microsoft 365 apps, such as Word or Excel, you'll see a Copilot icon on the top right of the screen. Select it, and Copilot is ready to roll. From there, you can just interact with Copilot like you would with any other chatbot like ChatGPT. Ask it questions about the document, ask it to make changes, summarize it, or add extra information, whatever you need. You can also select text, elements of a spreadsheet, or other documents that you're working on, and right-click. There, you'll find a contextual menu with some additional Copilot-powered functions that you can make use of. The available commands and capabilities of Copilot do change depending on the app, so check out more specific guides for using Copilot in the respective Microsoft 365 apps for more detailed instructions. We'll have some more videos on this coming soon. 
Getting started with Copilot and Microsoft's range of Office applications is straightforward, but the capabilities of Copilot are constantly changing and evolving as Microsoft matures its latest technology. Make sure to stop by a local Micro Center and talk to one of our expert associates about our selection of Copilot Plus PCs and visit microcenter.com to browse our wide selection. And if you don't have a Micro Center near you, comment hashtag I want a Micro Center near me. Thank you.